What I want to go over today is a very brief intro on the transferastic echo and to orient you to the most basic views found in the standard transferastic echo, aka TTE. Echocardiography in general is a very safe, non-invasive, and inexpensive procedure used to evaluate the heart for a variety of diseases. The images are produced due to the relative differences in reflection of sound waves as they travel through different tissues and different structures. It is one of the go-to tests in cardiology and something that you will see a lot as you go through your medical training. Similar to how CT scans are made through multiple cuts through the human body, a TTE evaluates multiple cuts of the heart at different positions using different angles. The four standard locations in which the echo transducer can be placed include the parasternal position, which is normally between the third or fourth intercostal space at the left sternal border, the apical position, which is normally visualized at the point of maximal impulse or on the lateral side of the fifth or sixth intercostal space the subcostal position, which is from right underneath the rib cage, and the suprasternal notch position, which is just above the sternal notch. For each of these four positions, there are standard cuts through the heart that you can make by varying the angle and rotation of the ultrasound transducer. For example, there are at least eight unique cuts that you can look at for both the parasternal position as well as the apical position. Now that we've done a very brief overview, let's talk about the basic standard TTE. This will include five standard cuts from the parasternal position and three standard cuts from the apical position for a total of eight standard views. These views can be further broken down into long axis and short axis views. Long axis views cut across the heart along its length like this, while short axis views cut across the heart along its width like this. At the parasternal position, we have one long axis view and four short axis views. And at the apical position, we have three long axis views and zero short axis views. The names of these eight views are listed here just to familiarize yourself with them. We'll talk about each of these views in more detail in our next video. Before we end here, I want to talk about one more concept that I hope will help you understand a little bit of the reasoning behind these specific views. Ask yourself, what exactly are we looking at with a transforacic echo? You probably want to say the heart, and you'd be right, but a better answer is the left ventricle. Yes, the heart consists of much more than just the left ventricle, but I think you'd all agree that the left ventricle is the most important chamber of the heart, which is why the basic standard TTE would be skewed towards evaluating it more. One simplified way to think about a TTE is that it divides the left ventricle into 16 parts and that each of these parts is evaluated from at least two different angles. The eight views or cuts that we just talked about in a basic standard TTE are just ways to evaluate specific portions of these 16 parts of the left ventricle from multiple angles. Let's get back to breaking the left ventricle into 16 different parts. If we're looking at the left ventricle here, we can take three short axis cuts through it. The basal short axis cut, the mid-level short axis cut, and the apical short axis cut. And we can then lay out these cuts like this, in which the basal cut is here, the mid-level cut is here, and the apical cut is here. To orient you, assume that we're looking at these cuts from the patient's foot, much like with a CT scan. In that case, the anterior wall of the left ventricle is here for all three cases. 
the lateral walls will be here, the inferior walls will be here, and the septal walls will be here. Now here's how we break down the left ventricle into 16 separate parts. At the basal cut, the basal anterior part will be here. The basal inferior part will be here. The basal anterior septal part will be here. And the basal inferior septal part will be here. On the other side, the basal anterior lateral part will be here. And the basal inferior lateral part will be here. At the mid-level cut, the mid-level anterior part will be here. The mid-level inferior part will be here. The mid-level anterior septal part will be here. The mid-level inferior septal part will be here. The mid-level anterior lateral part will be here. And the mid-level inferior lateral part will be here. For the apical cut, the apical anterior part is here. The apical inferior part is here. The apical septal part is here, and the apical lateral part is here. So from the basal cut, we have six different parts of the left ventricle. From the mid-level cut, we have six parts of the left ventricle. And from the apical cut, we have four parts of the left ventricle for a total of 16 different parts. If you put this all together, you'll get this view, which is something that you'll see when you're looking at echo reports. Just to quickly orient you, the six basal parts are here, the six mid-level parts are here, and the four apical parts are here. In our next video, we'll go over the eight views of a basic standard TTE, and I'll try to show you how these views are conceptualized using the 16 parts of the left ventricle that we just talked about. Here are our take-home points for this video. Thank you.